<clears throat> What's going on, guys? It's your girl, Daniqua A, and I'm back with another reading for you guys. We are vibing. Let's see what we got to talk. Ooh, let's see what we got to talk about today, y'all. Y'all got a deep knowing for something. There's a deep knowing in your heart. Maybe you guys, you know what I'm getting like. You know how you know something, but you don't act on it. And then you wind up like, damn. Or you know how you get into an argument and you arguing, but at the, when you guys hang up, you, you, you realizing what you should have said and what you didn't say. That's the energy I'm getting. 43 could be significant to you. 34 could be significant to you. April 3rd or March 4th. But that's the type of energy I'm getting like, like you should have said something when you had the chance. But you feel like like the opportunity is kind of like over. I told you. <laughs> Go the distance. It's something you feel like you should have went the distance on. And there was a deep knowing in your heart about it. And you probably just didn't take the opportunity to do it. You could be 47, 74 could be significant to you. April 7th, July 4th. Oh, the 4th of July. The J July 4th could be significant to you guys. All right? It's heavy on July 4th. And I'm hearing when I when I think about July 4th, I think about fireworks. I think about celebrations. <clears throat> I think about just noise too a lot of noise all right so maybe something happened around july 4th where you felt like you needed to do something and go to extra distance but it was too much commotion around you okay matter of fact let's I'm, i can't make it up <clears throat> round and round you feel like something is going round and round, like a repetitive cycle, all right? And that's why you feel like you should have went the extra mile. You should have went the distance because there was a deep knowing that this shit was going to happen again. Whatever that is to you in this situation. Thank you, spirit. <clears throat> so what do I need to know about this energy? Remember, guys, don't know, don't never um attach yourself to a reading. My my readings are very diverse, so um and if the readings start resonating with you, a he could be a she, a she could be a he. All right, so what is this energy about? There's definitely a deep no, an enemy in prison. You got the enemy right here. Somebody being sneaky, sneaky. Maybe, and I think about um, surprises, like a sudden, sudden events of, on the 4th of July. So there was an enemy trying to imprison you, okay? But they was doing it sneaky because this person is coming up from behind, all right? And you may feel like you should have went the extra mile and went the distance and finished the race, close out the cycle, and started a new beginning because 47 reduces down to 11. Thank you, spirit. And this is seven. This is the deep knowing. This is um, divine intervention, wisdom, and knowledge. All right? What's this? 25, the round around. And this is a seven, seven. So you knew that this was a repetitive cycle. And you knew you was around an enemy. Somebody that was being a snake. Somebody that wanted you locked up, even if it's not physically, mentally. Wanted you behind bars, want, watching you. Trying to see where they could come up at. And if they don't come up, you landing in jail, baby. Telling y'all, somebody around this energy. You see how it's fluctuating? The readings? There's a snake. Spirit want that snake out of here. Immediately. Before you go to jail or mental prison or wind up in spiritual jail. Because you knew... That you were supposed to go to extra distance for something. Instead of going round and round and round. I can't make it up. Joyfulness. 
There could be three females or three matriarchs or three people, a group of motherfuckers. Very happy to see your ass dead or in jail. They, these group of people, three feminines, are very happy. I mean, round and round, jolly, by being an enemy, by being a snake. Get these snakes out your garden so the readers can, can continue to be abundant and we can move on to the next life lesson. Get these snakes. These, these snakes got to go. They have to go. All right? And you know why it's come, keep coming out? Because spirit is saying, y'all know. Y'all being naive. Stop being naive. Because it's only literally going to bring you into a repetitive cycle. And look what's at the bottom of that. It's time to take a nap. It's time to take a nap. It's time to let spirit handle it so you could feel at ease. Spirit wants you to feel peace. Life is not all about struggles. Knife, I said a knife. You can't even feel peaceful at night going to sleep. Because you think somebody going to stab you with a knife. Damn. You think somebody going to stab you with a knife. Because they're your motherfucking enemy, okay? And you got a deep knowing that they trying to send you a jail or dead. And they just trying to make you imprisoned. All right? And it's three comics. This could be a mother, two sisters. This could, be, this could be a mother, a wife, and a baby mother. Take it how it resonates. Let the energy fluctuate. Thank you. And that's a fact. Y'all know I don't play about y'all. But take a nap. Because this cycle is going to keep going round and round. And the reason why you're not comfortable to even take a nap is because you probably think somebody's going to stab you in your sleep. 7.01 on the clock. That is not a way to live. And 7.01, that reduces down to 8. So all of this is about your abundance, your finances, some type of money situation here. Okay? Hell no. Hell no. Let that shit rest so you can rest. Put it to rest so you can finally get a good night's sleep. I'm hearing that you never... I, I, I was about to say you never. Damn. You never had a good night's sleep with these fucking karmic individuals you was around. That's crazy. But it's, it's, it's going round and round. Okay? Something happened maybe on July 4th. Not for all of you guys, but something specific happened on July 4th or around July. Alright? That shocked the shit out you. Because literally, somebody... Once you in jail or dead, okay, in prison, ready to ready to just just be happy while you locked up. Eight o'clock on a dot. Jealousy, jealousy, y'all. All of this in the name of jealousy. I told you good fortune, but we gonna put that back. Probably jealous over a, a, a girl. I can't make it up. You want to shoot these bitches. <laughs> you want to unalive them because I, I feel like they just annoy you. I feel like it's something about they laugh that annoys you. You do not trust them. You feel like they're your enemy. Because what the fuck is so funny? If I got an enemy around me. What the fuck is so funny? If I got to carry a gun. Thank you, spirit. And these are the type of karmic bitches that want you to carry a ratchet, that want you to carry a Draco every time because that's how they, oh, yeah, my man gangsta, my man this and that. This is what they want. So this is going to be a specific reading for a male specifically, okay? And don't come in my comments saying, oh, energy is not. Just take it how it resonates. But specifically, there's a male that is dealing with three karmic individuals that he wants to off because he feels like they are just too childish. Playing ring around a rosy with people love. And he feels like they are an enemy. Because what the fuck is so funny? I'm just trying to figure out. Because y'all not scared. 9.44 on the clock. They not scared. This masculine is. Alright. This masculine knows 
that these three karmic individuals, whoever it is in their life, he got to put a guard on them. Or every time he's with them while they party and thank you, spirit, 10 o'clock on a dot. Every time these group of women party with this masculine, he has to bring a weapon. All right? That could possibly land him in jail. 10-10. He don't want to do that no more. He don't want to do that no more. I'm telling y'all he don't want to do that, okay? He do not want to do that. And that's why the deep knowing came out. Because he know, oh my gosh, if I go out with them, I'm going to have to bring my weapon. And none of them bitches is going to take me out of jail. None of them bitches is going to leave me in prison. Why the fuck they still going out? That's what they're going to do. This is, this is, this is Karmisha's, okay? It's, these are the karmic, karmic in. And possibly wanting to bring somebody in jail. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me who is this joyfulest person? Well, three people specifically. Who are they, Spirit? Please and thank you. We're going to clarify these holes right here. Because I'm about sick of them. I'm about sick of them playing with my collective. Go play with your mama. All right, so who is this joyful group of comics that is very, very happy spirit? I can't make it up. Because they have failed in status and in ranking in their community. They are no longer held in high honor. And what I'm hearing is that you know how a group of people that don't really like each other, but they link up because they don't like the same person. This is the energy. They willing to do anything for clout. Thank you, spirit. These are clout chasers. These are pleasure seekers. And these are people that link up knowing damn well they don't like each other. But because they are at odds with an individual that they got in, that they um, got in common, they are best of friends. Comic-y. This is comic comic -in. These are comics comic -in. They are not held in high honor. And they are actually um, stripped from their spiritual protection. Who is this soldier and why he feel like... Get out, Empress. Say hi, Empress. This is the real demon. This is Anubis right here. Okay? This is Anubis. This is a reincarnation of Anubis. But get down. Get down, Empress. Look, she don't want to get down. All right. So this is the real demon. She wants to stay here. Spirit wants to keep her here for a reason. Yeah, she said she's tired of the comics too. Um, what's this soldier here that feel like he has to be on guard? You couldn't even, oh, I'm hearing PTSD. Okay, look, he, he feels like everything that was on a distant horizon for him, all the goals that he had, all the dreams that he had, you know, even the lifestyle that he wanted to change, all the karmic cycles that he was supposed to break is now in reverse. And now he has to feel like he has to be on guard with his life. This is a masculine that cannot balance out his feminine side. He has to be too masculine because these dumb ass hoes right here think it's cute that every time they party, he has to come to their rescue. And then that's putting him in motherfucking danger, surrounded by enemies when they doing it. And little do you know, if you are true divine feminine, you're not even going to get in a car with a weapon because you know that's going to attract it. When you think about something and when you when you feel like you got to, then don't go. But bringing a weapon, okay, while y'all going out to the club, is only inviting chaos in. And that was for somebody. So he feels like all of that should have shot because he's dealing with comic ass bitches that's hood boogers. And I'm hearing this could even be a mother. Because mothers ain't excluded. Sisters ain't excluded. Aunts or grandmothers, I'm hearing, is not excluded. What is this enemy card? He feels like he is being watched or followed or just around a group of enemies. And that's why the deep knowing is here. I'm hearing conscience. Like, his conscience is fucking with him. Oh, we got to look behind his shoulder. I can't make it up. 
this old mature mm, this could be a mother this could be an aunt this could be a wife this could be a sister whoever is a mature woman specifically older that you have a certain relationship with because this is six but this is a relationship with that requires balance which is the six i mean which is um you know libra i was about to say the seventh house because the seventh house uh uh house is libra literally i clarify enemy y'all got a deep knowing who this is that y'all was supposed to take the extra distance away from Anything else about this mature woman that we need to know before we move on to the prison card? Anything else we need to know? <laughs> Jealous because this masculine has been thinking about somebody else other than her old ass. And I'm all for maturity, but I'm all I'm I'm, I'm zero tolerance for older people thinking that they have some some type of say so in somebody else's life because of age. Sit your old ass down. Because he wants somebody else. He wants somebody else that's creative. Sit down. He doesn't want nobody that dresses like this. I mean, give it up. Are we in the 1960s? And I'm not all for bullying and stuff, but I'm tired of this comic. She came out as a comic. She came out as an enemy. So I'm defending my collective here, whether you're a masculine or not. She's an old hood booger that is so jealous. She controls you. It's a round and around cycle. Round and around with this person. That's why she keep coming out. This mature woman never comes out in a good light. If you watch all my videos, go sit down. Go dye your hair. Go do something productive. But what you're not going to do is keep fucking with these chosen ones. Because I'm going to cut your ass. This person with, likes blue. And this, pro this man probably don't even like blue. Like he don't like what you wear. All right. It surrounds around circuit what you like. Spirit is even tired. Because you see spirit right here. Spirit is tired. This man can't take a nap. Spirit is trying to make him rest. He can't take a nap because if you look at a fox, the fox is sneaky, baby. He feels like if he takes a nap, this person is going to stab him. She's jealous because he's thinking about another woman here. All right, so let's clarify this nap. Why is this, is this my collective scared to take a nap? Or is Spirit just telling them to rest? It's time to take a nap with this whole situation. I'm hearing comfortable. I don't know why I'm hearing it sung like that. I'm telling you, it says take a nap from this baby mother, from this family life, somebody that's acting like a mother. And for some of you guys, it's not your motherfucking child. Take a fucking nap. And for some of you guys, this is for the feminines out here. Take a nap. Stop trying to take care of other people, baby. Stop trying to act like somebody's child is yours when your intentions are not pure. Yeah, you thought I was going to leave your ass out? No. This is for the woman. We already know what the masculines is doing. The masculines got to give it up. The masculines got to understand that some of these pay babies, I said pay bees. Yeah, some of these babies is being used as pay bees. Damn. But these are, this is also for a specific group of feminines that is not in their divinity, that is doing too much as a stepmom or over the, overstepping their boundaries as a girlfriend or a wife and trying to take care of somebody's kids to try to prove a point. Sit your ass down. It's not your child. Have a seat. And I'm hearing have several seats in the back. And I'm also hearing this is for the people in the back that's listening. Um, what's this prison card, please? And thank you. Comics out here commenting, y'all. They they saw my readings. Look. <laughs> I can't make it up. 
They want to send this man to prison because he don't want to be in a courtship with them no more. He don't see a foundation, number four. He doesn't see it with y'all. Y'all can't force nothing. And now he feels like even if he's not in prison, he feels like he's in a mental, in mental prison. Come on. That's not divine feminine energy. That's mature old bitch vibes. Her booger vibes. The clown dress and blue vibes. 19 fucking 83 vibes. I don't fucking know. Maybe 1983 means something to y'all. But give it up. Why is this courtship and this imprisonment here? Because the courtship is stuck. I'm hearing it's up and it's stuck. I can't make it up. This old hood booger was expecting this masculine to be with her. No. Like, give it up. Let this masculine... What if he has... What if he has a, his divine counterpart that he hasn't met yet? Okay? That you are being used as a life lesson to teach him that your ass is karmic because you out here karmicking. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. The ancestors is sick of you. And what I'm hearing is your ancestors is sick of you because you out here playing with the chosen ones. And you got your ancestors at war. They don't want to go to war with our ancestors. They don't want to go to war with Alegua. They do not want to go to war with Oshun. They don't want, they damn sure don't want to go to war with Oya. They don't want to go to war with Obatala because Obatala just going to send the goons. They don't want to go with Yemiya because she is devouring anybody that's attacking her children. Y'all don't want to go to war with Arula because he do one divination. It's on y'all ass. Y'all don't want to go to war with Ogun because he's about that life. Y'all don't want to go to war with Shango. Because he got the gift of gab. He'll use your own sexual work on you. Y'all don't want to play with these people. Y'all don't want to play with these guys. Y'all ancestors don't want to play with these guys. Lady, sit down. Sit down. Look. My spirit guys, my chosen one spirit guys, this masculine spirit guys, and your spirit guys said, stop the fucking shit. Your Akashic Records... You about to be judged. You keep doing this shit. Spirit, and this is Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pasture. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me beside the path of the righteousness for his name's sake. Ye that I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will never fear no evil. For thou art with me, thou rod, that staff, that comfort me, that preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies, okay? That anointed my head with oil, and my cup will runneth over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us throughout all of our days, throughout all of our lives, and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So go sit your rabbit ass down. And I don't even know why I said rabbit. You know why I said rabbit? Because she hopping around. Spirit on that ass. Anything else I need to know? Look. Or it's all because of always this privileged lady. Because she's divine. My collective is divine. And you know what's so funny? This masculine probably it didn't even meet. Whoever she thinks that this masculine has a flank for is possibly his friend. Spirit, what's the closing out messages, please? And thank you. What is the closing out messages? Because I think this is just pretty... Uh, clear. Whoever's trying to get out the situation, first of all, I told you. You are protected. The reason why I read that Psalms out like that, it was a reason. Because spirit wants you to be protected from this bitch right here. Psalm, oh, I, I didn't even, oh, what the fuck? 23, look, courthouse, cool 23. All right? Spirit wants you to know that you are protected, but you need to protect yourself by going to extradition. Extradition. Extra. I'm hearing extradited. Trust the process. 
You got to get out of this and know that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. But this person is causing you a dark cloud, all right? And it's preventing you from transforming. Anything else, spirit? Wait, who is this child in reverse? What is this child in reverse? The comics out here comicking for money. The comic, the comics is out here in karma land acting a fucking fool. This is a comic circus right here. This is I'm hearing comical. Oh my gosh, I can't make it up, y'all. Y'all see how? Because it's an ending <laughs> to their household. Literally, they can be moved out or they can be put out on the streets. Stay drained. I said stay drained. I was about to say stay dangerous. Whoever is in this household is staying drained. And might possibly be unalive because of that. 